the Blues, they know where they're going. They'll be going on to the first round of the playoffs to play the Buffalo Sabres. They'll meet the Buffalo Sabres in the opening game this week in St. Louis because Buffalo has a basketball game going on in their arena. Then it's back to Buffalo for two games in a row. Now, the Blackhawks start with their best. Billy Ray goes with his ace at center ice, Stan Makita. He'll be facing off with the best from the St. Louis Blues, Gary Younger. Here with a play-by-play, Lloyd Pettit. Esposito and the Nets to our left, and Eddie Johnston, the veteran, and the Nets to our right for the St. Louis Blues. Stanowski last night in net for the Blues did a fantastic job for a young 20-year-old goaltender, and now they're going with the veteran. The opening face off the puck behind the St. Louis net. And checked away from the play. It's Makita behind the net. Marks tries to center it out. He's checked there by Smith. Who's pucked off the airboard of the St. Louis zone. Taken by Irvin. Right out to Unger to the center line. His pass deflected to the airboard. That's center ice and still. Unger retreats into his own zone being forechecked by Makita. Unger drops it to Smith. Rick Smith leads it out to center ice to Irvin. Irvin at the center line. Dumped into the Hawks zone. It goes to the backboard. Into the far corner and Marks. Puts it behind the Hawk net. And off the near corner on the near board to Carl. Carl to Makita. Makita to the center line. Well checked on the near board of the loose puck. Still at center ice, and Makita has it. Leading to the far board at the center line, and John Marks dumps it off the board to the backboard, and tipped away by Johnston behind the net and cleared off the near board. Still in the St. Louis zone, and out to center ice on the interception is Talon. Knocked down by Smith, back to center ice, and Talon avoids a check from Barkley Plager, and the puck again in the St. Louis zone on the backboard, and Unger comes out on the left side. Gary Unger leads a left wing pass taken by Smith. He's out to the blue line, leads to Irvin to the center line, and Irvin skating toward the far board. Throws it off the far board over the hot blue line, but the whistle blows. The Blues are offside. Ted Irvin, a veteran player in the National Hockey League, started in the Boston system, came up with him in the latter 60s and the early 70s, and a lot of good ones came up with Boston at that time, and a lot of them went to other teams in the league. It seemed like Boston had a few years where it was in the cellar, so they had a chance to accumulate some very good players, and Irvin was one of them. They stop outside the hot blue line, the draw deep into the St. Louis zone, taken by Affleck, and he stands behind the net. Just underway with our all-important hockey game for the Chicago Blackhawks. Back to the blue line, and Redmond passes intended for Boulderev. It was out of his reach, and Affleck has it off the backboard. 18 minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first period. No score. Neither goaltender has been tested as yet. Redmond with the loose puck off the center line, off the far board. Leads on right wing, intercepted by Berenson. And Berenson leads ahead to plot to Berenson into the hot blue line of plot. Plot shot is broken up by Bill White. Rebound into the far corner and Dennis Hall. Checked along the backboard and put down. And the puck is free behind the Blackhawk net. And now it's on the backboard and still free right in front of the referee, Wally Harris. Into the near corner, put to the side of the net, let out in front. The folder red clears it away off the near board and taken by Pitt Martin. Martin left wing lead to Boulderev. Boulderev to the center line, to the blue line. Boulderev leading to Dennis Hall, broken up by Affleck at the left wing position and dumped out through center ice and Redmond on it in the Hawk zone. To the near side and Bill White at the Hawk blue line. Off the near board, Bill White's pass is deflected by Plant. Deep into the St. Louis zone and taken there by Affleck behind the St. Louis net. And again, a lot of the action between the blue lines. Almost stolen away by Dennis Hall, broken up by Redmond up the center line. Redmond back to the center line, to the blue line. Left wing lead to Boulder. Boulder with a slap shot, deflected Martin on the rebound, a shot, and a goal! by Boulderab was deflected away to short right wing and Pitt Martin was there for the Blackhawks. He let his shot go. Johnston got a piece of it, but not enough and it tumbled over his shoulder into the net and the Hawks lead it by a score of one to nothing at 2.33. Center ice play at the interception after the faceoff by St. Louis return to the Blackhawks on the whistle blows offside call. Gunzo Sports Center at 7706 West Madison Street in River Forest, Illinois is a franchise dealer for all Blackhawk items. Gunzo's has a complete selection of all hockey equipment bearing the Blackhawk crest. So stop by soon and inspect the vast array of hockey equipment now available at Gunzo's. Right now, Gunzo's is having their gigantic end-of-the-year hockey sale. All equipment is greatly reduced along with a special two-for-one stick sale. So it was. Pitt Martin's goal is 31st, assisted by Boulder Evan Redman at 233. And the puck in the St. Louis zone. Bob Flager in the near corner, checked away by Degla. Degla tries to center, goes to the side of the net. Right in front, a shot by Sheehan and a save by Johnston of the rebound to St. Louis. Out to center ice, and it's a center line offside as the whistle blows. Well, you can't say that Pitt Martin hasn't done his most for the Blackhawks in the last few games in their drive. 
to get that bye in the Stanley Cup playoffs and get that first place position in the Conn Smythe division. Martin has poured through an awful lot of goals and set up plenty of plays, and he just hit on his 31st of the year a heads-up play where he took a loose puck to the left of the goalie, Eddie Johnson, and put it past Eddie. Face off inside the St. Louis blue line on the far side of the big end, the draw to the Blues. Bob Flaker has it on the near side. He's out to his blue line and dumping it down over the hot blue line. It goes all the way to the backboard. Mulvey over the goal line, touches it, whistle blows. And it's an icing call against the St. Louis Blues. 16-39 left in the first period. One to nothing, Chicago. Chicago Blackhawk Hockey on WMAQ Radio. 6-7-0 Chicago. We carry all Chicago Blackhawk home games, and that includes the Stanley Cup playoffs. Be sure you join us here at WMAQ. Lloyd Pettit has the play-by-play, and I am Pat Sheridan. Bobby Sheehan on the face-off of the Blackhawks. And his opposition is Patey, and the draw into the slot, pulled away by McMillan, out to his blue line to the center line. McMillan to the hot blue line, poked into the slot, out of the net is Esposito to tip it into the air corner. Patey takes a check from Russell on the loose puck behind the Blackhawk net. Poked to the side of the net, Talon can't clear, and it's now deflected to the near board of the Hawks all. And Russell can't clear it either. Patey, a turnaround shot that's off the backboard, bounces up into the air, and on the right side of the Hawk net, Esposito reaches out and holds on. A few words here about Eddie Johnson, who is in goal for the St. Louis Blues tonight. You can remember the glory years of the Boston Bruins, can't you? Well, he was one of the two goalers for that team. One, the other one was Jerry Cheevers, and Johnson, of course, spelled Cheevers an awful lot, and he played in an awful lot of important games in 1970s and 72, Stanley Cup years for the Bruins. From the faceoff, Smith at the near point, a shot is wide to the right side on the deflection and off the far board. Marx leads it out to center right, just under the stick of Makita, goes to the blue line of St. Louis and Smith. His pass broken up, taken by Makita. Bill White tried to grab it, and it's deflected away and taken by Smith. Off of Irvin, center ice play for Cliff Coral on the interception. Coral to the center line, backhands onto the stick of Johnston, makes the save and drops it off to Smith. Smith on the left side of the St. Louis net, ahead to Irvin. Irvin, long right wing lead out to Butler. Butler to the Hawk blue line, slap shot and a save by Esposito. Rebound to Redmond. Redmond trying to clear the far board, couldn't do it. Bill White gives some help behind the net, throws it around the near board, and through center ice and back into Blues ice. Skating it down is Barkley Plager, and there is no icing on the play. Plager forced into the far corner by the forechecking of Makita. Leads it ahead to Butler. Butler to Unger at the blue line of the center line. Unger winding long shot wide to the right side. Rebound off the backboard, and Redmond pokes it back out to center ice. And taken by Smith, retreating into the St. Louis zone. One nothing in favor of the Blackhawks. 15-17 left to play in the first period. An all-out effort is expected from the Blackhawks tonight. They have to win, absolutely have to win. A tie won't do any good, and needless to say, a loss wouldn't do any good either. Brought over the Hawk blue line by the Blues. Whistle blows offside St. Louis. Barkley Plager on defense for St. Louis right now, until a few weeks ago, was the captain of this team, and then he resigned as the captain of the St. Louis Blues to be replaced by Red Berenson, who earlier in his career was a St. Louis captain until being traded to Detroit. Plager's reason for resigning as captain of the team is that he just felt he wasn't playing well and he wanted to concentrate on playing his defensive position. He's been in the league a long, long time and one of the tougher players around. Got in a fight with Will Paymont, the young 19-year-old of the Kansas City Scouts, and his brother Bob remembers that 20 years ago, Barkley Plager up in Canada was fighting with Wilkes Brothers. Face off outside the hot blue line of a draw back into the St. Louis zone and picked up by Gasoff. Gasoff behind the net, skates it into the far corner. Now he leads it back in front of the St. Louis net to Affleck, Affleck to Barron's into the center line. Long bouncing shot and a save by Esposito. Rebound into the far corner. Dennis Hall trying to clear it, can't do it. Being held away from the play by Plot. Talon comes in on it, holds it against the backboard behind and to the left of Tony Esposito. Face off in Chicago ice. Bob Gasoff came up to the St. Louis Blues as a very rough-edged hockey player, mainly known as a fighter out of the Central Hockey League, and they brought him up when they decided to make the St. Louis team a lot rougher team. He has developed into a pretty good defenseman. They saw him in the Hawks on the draw to Talon. Throws it off the far board, knocked down by Plot. Plot with a shot and a save by Esposito. Another good save by the Chicago goaltender. Let out to center ice. Taken by Lefley, backhands into the hot zone near corner, and Martin retreats, picks it up, skates it to the side of the net, behind the net, comes out into the near corner, and leads it off the near board, ahead to Boulderev, and Boulderev just flicks it out to center ice, and it's intercepted there by Plot, Plot, backhands back into the hot zone to the stick of Esposito, he tips it off the right side of the net, and Magnuson, Magnuson into the far corner of Dennis Hall, returns it behind the net to Dale Talon, and Talon throws it off the near board, intended for Martin, Martin can't clear, grab by Gas, off a shot, and a save by Esposito, but he holds on, a beautiful save, by the Chicago goaltender. The shot came from the near point by Bob Gasoff, and Esposito was totally screened. At the last split second, he made the move to make the save. So frequently, you talk about a goalie's positioning 
saving himself in bad situations, and in that case, it was positioning by Esposito that did the job. Face off, back to the near point, the shot by Gasoff, deflected into the near corner with the hot zone. And Magnuson throws it behind the net, around the far corner in the far board, and Dennis Hall leads it out, but it was deflected back into the hot zone, but taken by Magnuson to the near board of the center line, and he flicks it over the blue line of St. Louis. Into the far corner, and Plot picks it up for the Blues. Has it behind the net, 13.45 left to play in the first period. One to nothing, Blackhawks. And the puck kept in by Talon, thrown around the near corner. It goes to the backboard, and Gassoff puts it behind the net into the far corner, and Affleck brings it out for St. Louis to Berenson. Left wing lead at center ice, broken up by Magnuson, and taken by Martin, wheeling back inside his blue line, dropping it to the near side, and Boulderev. And Boulderev to the far side, and Talon. Out to center ice, right wing lead, back to Boulderev, under his stick and over the blue line into the St. Louis zone, but taken on the interception by Berenson, and back he comes to his blue line to the center line to the Hawk blue line. And brought over into the slot by Plot. Can't control it. It's off the near board. And Plot puts it deeper into the corner. And now out in front of the deflection taken by Boulderev. Off the far board. And Dennis Hall can't catch up with it. Taken now. And dropped back to Berenson inside the Hawk blue line. Led to Leftley. Leftley back to the near point. And Gasol. Gasol with a shot. Is knocked down by Leftley. And Leftley is knocked down by the puck as Gasol. And Magnuson collide heavily. And Gasol is hurt in the play. Out the center ice. Come the Hawk. Boulderev to the blue line. A slip. And it's over the cross. And off the backboard. And Gasoff just let Magnuson have one as Magnuson was going out of the bench. Better ice play. Here is Patey to the Hawk blue line. Poked away by Tillerman. The center ice. And now Plot dropping it back to the. The Blackhawk fans are really upset because there's a long shot turned away by Esposito. We'll explain this to you in just a moment. The play continues. Broken up by Martin. The Hawks are two on two. Martin, left wing, leads to Diggler over the blue line. His shot is deflected into the near corner of the St. Louis zone. And Sheehan digs for it along with Rekasi. And off the near board. Rekasi trying to bring it out. It is out the center right. Poked out by Martin to Sheehan. Sheehan sealing it away. Out of the net comes shots and tears it away from Sheehan. The puck off the far board. And Diggler to Sheehan. Sheehan leading into the slot. Checked away in the play and the loose puck out the center right. And Bill White at the Hawk blue line. Led to the blue line by two, Sheehan, and Sheehan brings it over. Too late, the whistle blows, the Hawks are offside. What was the best black hawk team ever? Well, you're bound to get arguments on this. And now we have a little dispute going on down below us. Dave Rickesey, who was a tough kid, formerly in the Ranger system, is having words with one of the Blackhawks. What was the greatest black hawk team ever? Well, we're bound to get arguments on this, but the 63-64 Hawk team has to stand out. That year, Chicago put Glenn Hall, Pierre Pilot, Bobby Hall, Kenny Warham, and Stan Makita on the All-Star team at five out of six spots. And it's only happened once before. Not bad, huh? And if you want to start another argument, try leaving hands off your list of best beers. It's a beer made to be cool, wet, and clear. To get your thirst first, hands, the beer from the land of sky blue waters. All right. That's right. Let me fill you up to date right now on this situation. Magnuson put gas off down hard in the Blackhawk zone to the point where he was stunned, but play did not stop. It continued. Then as the Blackhawks control the puck and were moving up ice, Keith Magnuson went to the Chicago bench. And as Bob Gasoff skated by the Chicago bench, he reached out with his stick and slashed Magnuson, who was just entering the gate to the Blackhawk bench. And now, just a moment ago, after Gasoff went to the St. Louis bench, it was Grant Mulvey who came swinging by the St. Louis bench and got his stick in on Gasoff. So the officials have got their hands full and we're waiting for an announcement of some kind. Well, we had a conference at center ice between Makita, the referee, and Red Berenson, the captain of the St. Louis Blues. And now skating over is Larry Patey to get in on the faceoff against Bobby Sheehan. And maybe nothing's going to happen at all because nobody's gone to the penalty box. Now, here comes the faceoff just outside the St. Louis blue line. Apparently, they're going to let it ride. One to nothing, favor of the Blackhawks. 11.48 to go in the first period. And have we had action so far? That one goal is due to a heads-up play by Pitt Martin, originally set up by Dick Redmond. Now the faceoff. No penalties to anyone, even though there is blood on the ice in the Chicago zone. And the faceoff and the draw as Sheehan skates through the crease and takes care of Ed Johnston. Center ice play. Hess, a long shot deflected wide. To the backboard. Esposito trying to poke it away. Let out in front. Popped up into the air and cleared away by Esposito. Taken by Degla. Poked away from him in the Blackhawks out off the near corner. Ruckus, he checked by Bill White. 
Now Sheehan shakes it out to the blue line, to the center line. Sheehan to the blue line, moving toward the far board. Leads on left wing, and it's behind Degla. And the puck poked behind the St. Louis 